this time, I invite the children of the congregation to come forward for the children's message. Good morning. It is great to have all of you with us. Do you guys remember what we talked about last week? Do you remember, Audrey? Thank you. The, it, it was the colors, yes, but specifically we're talking about the colors of the Advent wreath, yeah? Yeah. Last week we lit the first candle because it was the first Sunday in Advent as we begin our march toward the manger at Christmas time. Well, so that first candle was the, was the candle of prophecy. We talked about how there's four candles, just like there were 400 years in between the last prophecy, the last promise of our God in the Old Testament, and when he kept his promise at Christmas. But now we're going to the second candle, because it's the second week in Advent. And if the first one was the candle of prophecy, the second candle, and you're never going to guess this because I had to look it up too, is the candle of Bethlehem. It's when our story begins at Christmas and we start our march toward the manger. What, who are the people who are going to Bethlehem? Do you know any of this story? Yes, Audrey. There are two people. Yes? The, the, the Magi did, in fact, go there. Yes. That, those were, they were going to Bethlehem. Good, they're going to come in a little bit later. But who, who are the two main characters in the, in the Christmas story? The Magi is good. Yes, Faith. Mary and Joseph. And conception is the beginning of life, so baby Jesus was along for the ride too. But it was Mary and Joseph on the donkey going to Bethlehem. That's right. Now, where did they live? Do you guys remember that? It wasn't Bethlehem. Well, maybe. That's what I would do if I was going to build a house on the top of the hill, yes. They lived at the top of Israel, if you're looking at a map. They lived up in Nazareth, up north, you could say. So why would they go to Bethlehem? That seems like a bad idea if your wife is very pregnant. Hun, you got to go. Let's spend a few days on the donkey. Yeah. They did this because there was a census. I know this is going deep into your Bible history knowledge. There was a census that had to be taken, and so the whole world was in upheaval, including Mary and Joseph and the unborn baby Jesus, and so they traveled to Bethlehem, and this is not a random cause of events. It seemed that way to Mary and Joseph, but God was keeping his promise that the baby would be born in the city of David. That's where it all started. This was Bethlehem. Bethlehem is the house of bread. That's where it, that's where it happened. That's Bethlehem. And it's as far as we're going to go today, young ones. But that's the story, and that's how they got there, and why they went there. So let's bow our, our heads and talk to our God. Dear Jesus, the story of Christmas is an amazing one. There are so many random details that you tie together into a beautiful bow that is your promise of love for the world. Help us to find our peace in nowhere else except our Savior Jesus. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class walking slowly. 